Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming along on, I have words, to play along with May I Scrap Lift You. And I am working on, what, May 13th. So let me show you the product I'm working with and we will roll into all the other info. So I've got a collection from the scrap room. It is from Bella Boulevard, our love song. And I've got pieces because I've designed with it a fair amount. So I've got this one. It's called Daily Details, a bit of a cut apart. I've got You're a Dream. And then bits and pieces of some other gorgeous goodies. I also have a full, shy, full size sheet of black basil cardstock, which is handy dandy. Um, to go along with that, I have one white doily. I've got a Bella Pop, which I'm amazed I did not use all the Bella Pops. I've got a little bit of the nice um, epoxy pieces, a bit of bling, and then what else do I have? Oh, I've got a few of the little die cut ephemera type pieces. Sorry, I just dropped something. So I have that. The photo I'm gonna scrap is this one right here. It's from a year ago. And this is my daughter and one of her very best friends. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. So we have that. That will work for like Girl Squad, all of that. Now, rules and regs I put into place. A lot of you guys know I'm playing along with my own set of rules. Is that I wanna put bling on every, something from my bling bin right here on every layout, which I think I forgot on my last layout, day 12. This is tragic, but trying to get stuff out of my bling bin. I want to put Scrap and Happy Studio Flare on every layout and then something from my color drawers. Even if it's a button, I don't care. Something is coming out of my color drawers. Phew, a little excited. So let me show you the layout that I'll be scrap lifting from my pal Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. She's got this, I'm, let's see, we've got a piece of, yellow up here. She's got a great stripey paper. It's got a border. She has these four um, kind of columns that are torn. I think those are so cute. And she has photos on each. I just have the one photo. We'll make it work. Title up top and then some embellishment stuff right here. How cute is that? And it reads, um, she's playing catch up with her February build a page. It's her takeout on day 29 of Christie's Beautiful Life Series 10. And she was using a sketch by uh, Susie Lee, I believe. Suze Lee 72, I believe. So, super fun. I like this idea. Let me make sure. By Suze Lee 72, bright, bold, and full of life, just like my little girl. Cute. Okay, so we're going to do that. I need to find a scrap of white cardstock. I want to mat this. Um, let me see. I'm trying to pull my photo back up. Now, the only full-size piece I have left is this really nice piece of black. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off my branding strip from that. I will, um, like I said, mat my photo with a little scrap of white cardstock. That tends to happen a lot. You know, especially if I don't have the forethought to go ahead and mat or, you know, print my uh, piece out with mat. Oh, my Lanta, look at, look at how cute. But this is super cute. Oh, but that's super cute. Hmm. Guys, let me see how much we're going to have once we do the trimming stuff. Let's see, we've got these gorgeous florals, or the red. I like the florals a lot better. And then this one, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to see what all the big ones are. All right, we've got a stripe, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice. But there's some things I like just a little tiny bit more. And I really am digging this paper here. Now, I don't know, guys. We are going to be cutting a lot of things close. But no risk, no reward, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and do this. And let's see how big these pieces are. We might need a third little piece to kind of help that part of the band design. We don't know yet. See how we're falling short just a year bit? Let's see. Is anything else big? Yeah, that's not bad. It looks kind of like a little belt. That's funny. So it looks like it was one of the pieces from here. 
All right, so what else can I use? I can use a piece of this. I kind of like the idea of this aqua stripe going across just a little tiny bit more. So we're gonna do that. It's not gonna be any big deal. Just gonna do a nice little filler in piece. I will trim them all down to like 11 and a half. And then, let's see, what do we need? A couple inches? And we'll get them all plopped down. And then with the other papers, I'm gonna start creating those like little rectangles with the torn bits on the bottom. So here we are so far. I ended up using my three little columns. I mean, I have one photo, so I get to do what I want. Matted my photo, my three pieces are on here. And already it makes me happy. I've got lots of pattern paper, which we all know is rather my jam. So it's a good thing. I'm gonna map my photo again with this black. It'll totally pop off of that. I've got a cute little Polaroid frame. Y'all know I'm gonna make me a shaker with that because you know we want to get rid of all sequins, which will never happen. Um, and then I've got all of these cute pieces. So I've got Kiss, that's not gonna work. Girl Squad will totally work. Let the Good Times Roll will work. We've got a nice tab I can use. Gal Pals work. Be Mine, eh, nah, nah. All right, so we'll put these guys aside so we can use all of these cute things. Now, remember, I also still have my handy dandy extra. So let's see if we have anything that will do some kind of a big title. On the bright side, hmm, Mary and Bright, believe decked out. Decked out might be cute because they look so cute. Although we won't really see it very well. Oh, guys, I have the, these pink alphas. Okay. And these pink alphas were in my cocoa vanilla kit, but these are called chill. So I'll come up with some kind of word because it'll totally show up right here. Okay, I've got a little bit of homework to do. Oh, and I also have to find something for my color drawers and some Flare. I found Flair like in one second that totally matches. This is from the April Scrap and Happy Studio Happy Mailbox. So I get to use these three up. I'm going to get the same silver sequins I used in my last May I Scrap With You layout because that gives them a better chance of, you know, using up the package. Okay, I have a couple things to do. I'm going to play around with this for a little bit. I need to come up with a title and I'll meet you right back here. So I did go ahead and pop that doily down and I put my little shaker right here on the bottom where Christy had her embellishment. I've got one of my flare pieces there. I'm missing an orange one. Oh, here it is. <laughs> and I got to figure out what to do with the other two. But I think I'm going to just go super simple, random with my title and have it read hello because... I don't have a lot of letters that would actually work. I'm trying to see, I'm thinking my title might just kind of end up right here to start, because otherwise I'm gonna have it floating kind of willy-nilly. So we'll get hello on there. I only have one E. We have to use whatever letters we have left. I've actually created with this alpha pack quite a lot, and it has been absolutely like clutch to have a set of thickers um, for this series. So big win. I mean, I can always get stuff out of my stash, but if I don't have to, I just really don't want to. I wanna use up as much as I can of the things that we have. So I don't have an O, but we do have a handy dandy Q. So that's gonna work. And yes, for the person who asked, Blue is taking a nap right beneath my desk because that's his preferred place to nap. It's not always helpful, but that's what we have. Okay, then I've got this cute little tab right here. So at this point, it's just decorating willy-nilly because this is pretty much where my inspiration will be. Oh, I can do Hello Girl Squad. That would be a super cute title. Okay, we have the rest of our title just like that little piece of dimension. We can pop it right here. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so that came together. I like this little piece that reads, let the good times roll. And I'm trying to see, oh, I kind of like it right there. So I need a little dimension to go, you know, from like times over. 
And I want to get some more of these silvery sequins here and there. Oh, I've got my big old Bella Pop to get on here too. So I definitely have some work to still do. Pretty, I mean, it's not work, it's fun. I mean, it's scrapbooking. But I definitely have some more um, thinking and some more design stuff to get going on, which is all fine. It is fine. It is fun. So let's get this, let the good times roll. I think that is a really cute idea to put right here. Boop, 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 boop. You know what it's acting like? Oh, I see why. Because I have a little tiny bit that's going up onto the frame. So it's acting hink, hinky. It's kind of fighting to go up. All right, let me get a little adhesive here. All right, guys, I'm going to play around with this a little bit longer and I will meet you back here when I've got a tiny bit of traction. Cute. I've got these pieces down then I went through the pattern papers that I've left scraps on scraps and I found a few more little goodies. I think I also want to cut out maybe two more rainbows. I think this doodle pop is so stinking cute that I would like to have a couple more rainbows on here. Let's just not have to pick. I'm going to just grab a few. I'm going to get these pieces tacked down. Then, guys, I just have my little epoxies, my bling that came from here, as well as some sequins. And then, guys, if I have to get something out of my bling bin, maybe, see, I have gems. I've got sequins. So, guys, I don't know. Let's see if I have any. No, the pearls, me, me. Guys, am I going to go another layout with destroying my master plan? But no, I will have some black gems as well. Okay, I'm going to pop these things on and I will show you my finished layout in just a moment. I thought I'd just pop back in, even though I said I wouldn't. But you know, we say all kinds of things. Because I like the way this layout came out. Like it's so different from Christie's because of the color palette, but it is absolutely fun. So I've got a couple little rainbows here with a bright flower. I've got this piece here thinking bringing up a little bit of red epoxy there and I've got a big old cluster down here. This really really came together. So I'm just trying to decide where this cute little pair of red lips should go because it definitely needs to get onto a layout. It's hilarious. So we've got let the good times roll here. So let's go ahead and get an epoxy up by the record player. Um, let's see. Definitely need a little bit more red over here because it's pretty. And then we've got easy. Oh, you know what? This epoxy, I don't know if it'll come off. Sometimes it can be a little bit sticky. There we go. Got some itty bitty little tiny pieces. So I'm going to just put whatever one I think will show up well and hope it'll come out all right. So the black down here. Oh, can do a little tiny bit of a black one right on this black piece right here. That would be cute. And then we'll put a pink right here. Hopefully it goes on nicely. And then I will put on the sequins, but the sequins and the gems, all that kind of thing. But I just thought I'd show you how cute this came together. I didn't have much product, but you know, when these things are curated so nicely, they have a way of just coming together. Okay, guys, I'm going to have links down below. I will have still shots, all that kind of thing. Guys, I don't even know if the bling will go on. I forgot I have all this bling. I keep getting excited going, oh, yes, I'm going to use blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, oh, wait, <laughs> I have a ton of blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm going to get all of these blings on here. Try to get a couple sequins on. We'll see about these big old chunker bits. And yeah, still shots to follow, guys. I'll be back ever so soon with another video. Bye, guys.